Hey, how's it going? Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard. That's toy-wizards.com. And I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. It has been a minute since we've done one of these because whew, the never ending winter break. But we are back with some awesome, fun, new video content stuff to review. And for today's video, we have another subscription box unboxing from Culture Fly. I don't know if you guys remember the last one. They sent me the world's best, um, world, the world collection DC box. And now they sent me a, oh yeah, the world's finest collection. So now they sent me a new box. So thank you so much for kicking us down with awesome merchandise to review for, don't look at my address, <laughs> for our Toy Wizards um, viewers. So this one, DC, Superman, I'm assuming this is a full Superman box, but we will find out. I, my last um, unboxing video, I spent a lot of time talking about Culture Fly and the amazing boxes that they make. Their stuff is um, created and not curated, which means that they, you know, they have the license and they're making these products original for their subscription boxes, which, and I'm not being paid to say this, like this is sincere from my heart. I've seen so many subscription boxes that are just like the floor sweepings. <laughs> like dollar store tchotchkes and keychains thrown into a box being like $30 per month, here you go. But what's really cool about Culture Fly is that all of their stuff is actually created. They're not a monthly subscription box. It's like quarterly, they come out every three or four months. So that's really, really cool to me. Um, and again, all the stuff in here is original product for their customers. So again, it's not just your standard subscription box where it's just like, you know, they're like, uh oh, we got another subscriber. What do we do? Garbage. <laughs> but um, no, this is a really cool service. I sincerely mean that. If a garbage box company had asked if they could send me something to review, I would honestly say no. But I am sincerely impressed with Culture Fly. So the last box they sent me for their DC collection had the Green Lantern planter, it had a cyborg action figure, it had that super cool flash jacket, uh, it had the um, Batman belt buckle, uh, some enamel pins, the Wonder Woman um, USB cord with all the different attachments, the lasso of truth. So there was some really, really fun stuff inside of that box. I have no idea what's in this one, but it's beefy. So let's get started, right? Isn't that the famous famous last words? Let's get started. Alrighty, so <laughs> how do we open this? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Stone with toy-widgets.com. Can't open a box again. Hang out with me because the personality is rocking, right? <clears throat> no. Alrighty, here we are. I opened it all by myself. Oh my God, look at the stuff in here. So first and foremost, I mean, this box is so cool looking. Big blue printed design, artwork, graphic design, incredible everywhere. All right, so this is, this is a Superman box. Like, they're not kidding. All right, so the Bottle City of Kandor. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Superman fans are going to be like, it's Kandor, you dip. I think Dean Cain was the best Superman. <laughs> Everyone, oh, suddenly, suddenly there's no viewers. I'm like, what's happening? Okay. Alrighty, so this is what we have here. All right, so this is an art stand. So here's the stand. You can see the little um, slits, little slats, whatever you want to call them. And then we have these, I want to say this is acrylic. Um, there's a bottle, and I'm guessing it goes like that. So we have this little uh, desk tchotchke art piece. That's fun. That's cute. I'm gonna put that back in here. Put it back in the. This looks like a matchbox or something. I don't know, like an old. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like actually the um, box that the Batman belt buckle came in. All right, this is an enamel pin, Fortress of Solitude key. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That's fun. Fortress of Solitude key enamel pin. That would look bitchin' on like a jacket or like a den like a um like a denim jacket or a backpack or something like that. You can just proclaim your nerdiness. That's super fun. What do we have? I love how they send like a, like clothes, <laughs> that flash jacket. And here we have, is this another hoodie? Oh, this material is nice. The flash jacket, and it's cause it's the flash. I get the, I get the gimmick, um, was uh, like an athletic material, um, like a, like a track suit. Um, again, flash, run, uh, people who do exercise. That's not true. I don't, 
I can't, I can't joke about not doing anything anymore because now I do Krav Maga. So that joke's out the window. But look, Superman sweater. This is a hoodie. Okay, do they remember my size from the last box? That'd be cute. They did. Oh, culture fly, you're so nice to me. They remembered my size from the last one. Okay, so we have a pullover hoodie with the Superman logo. The hood has the red on the inside. Um, we have the yellow tassel. tassel. I'm going to call them tassels. I know it's just a pull string. And on the box, there we go. Superman looking out into that there. Fortress of Solitude, right? This is the Fortress of Solitude. I think Dean Cain was the best Superman. No, I'm kidding. Um, Christopher Reeve was a beautiful, beautiful Superman. I, I thought he was fantastic. I used to watch this show called Fairy Tale Theater back in the late 80s, Shelley Duvall's Fairy Tale Theater. And there was this one episode where Christopher Reeve was playing like Robin Hood, I want to say. And he was just so handsome and like spry and jumping around and physical comedy. And it's just, oh my God. Now we all know what happens. All right. Here is a Superman vinyl figure bust. It's the, uh, this is, this is as close to the transformation. Like, you know, meanwhile in Japan, Sailor Moon was transforming with ribbons and the Power Rangers were transforming with flashes of light. And we had, um, we had Superman pulling off his clothes. I know he didn't really transform. He was always like this. And the, um, and the Clark Kent was the disguise. I know he didn't really transform. I'm just making a joke. But yeah, we have him, a, a bust, a vinyl bust of him up to the up to the belt um pulling off his business casuals <laughs> and you know springing into action his ties blowing in the wind i don't know if you can see that correctly should i open this Let's see if it's easy to open i'll open it maybe i won't you get the idea yeah see his ties blowing in the wind he's got a serious look on his face saving the world <laughs> That is cool. I like all the I like all the nails that Culture Fly hits when they send out these these boxes. It's like a piece of apparel, uh, a pin, a toy, a tchotchke, a random something, and an art print. So I see there was um, an art like a canvas art print in the last box that I received, and now for this one, there's still stuff in that box. We have a, um, like an art print. So this is, what size is this? I don't know. Nine by, nine by six or seven, I would say. Ten by seven. It, it's an untraditional size. I don't have any frames. But we have Superman. We have Superman pouting so furiously and he's flying. Look at him flying. He's just above buildings. People are looking up at him. There's a dog. <laughs> No, that's cool. I, I would not personally be able to identify the artist, the cover artist um, who made this specific Superman. If you do, go ahead and educate me in the comments. Um, to me, to me, a Superman is a Superman. Although this one is, look, at devastatingly handsome. All right, let's keep going. We have, ooh, bookends. We have a bookend. Do you guys use bookends? Do you use them for your comics or for your, like, books proper? So we have a Superman bookend, and he comes with this. That's cute. He comes with Superman holding up the other side like that. So for those of you who have heavy books, he'll be like, mm, just muscles, just guns, ugh, you know, just holding up your books. If you have him with comics, you know, he can still try a little bit. So that is cool. That is really nice looking. And as most, like most um, bookends, this is made of metal. <laughs> so we have, that's really cool. I appreciate that. It says Superman floating shelf. It's a bookend. All right. What else do we have in this bag of tricks? I think we're nearing the end. Oh, we have an informational. I don't want to know what's in there. I'm going to be surprised. So I'm not going to look at what's, at what's, in, the, uh, what's in the box. We're almost done, too. But yeah, I'm on to the last thing. See, this box is clean. So clean. Oh, 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 it's just, it's really clean. It's empty. 
Ugh. There we go. So the last thing, Fortress of Solitude glass mug. How does it know that I drink liquid sometimes? Oh my God, let's find out. All righty, let's take a peek. Do, 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 do. Layer one, styrofoam. Oh, oh, I'm breaking it. <laughs> how do I just break? How do I just ruin, ruin things so quickly? So destructive and heavy handed. Just phew. no, really. This ooh, this uh, styrofoam is like laughing at me. I'll show you. Oh my god, ew. Huh. You're like, <laughs> I will ruin your floor. <laughs> this is really, that's what I see laughing at me. Oh, God, it's in my <laughs> styrofoam in my hair. Uh, uh, static is vacuum. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not kvetching. I'm just playing around. All right. This is, ooh, this is a heavy, heavy mother. This is beautiful. I mean, you know, the cup in and of itself is something like I, I get off on the like, crystal looking, you know, ornate design, but you could very easily, I've seen cups like this at like BevMo. I've seen, you know what I mean? I'm not like going to ooh and ah over the shape of the cup because this is like cost plus world market. Any, it's, it's, it's a frosty mug, but you know, we have our Superman etching right there. doesn't feel like it's going to peel off too quickly in the dishwasher. Are we dishwasher safe? We have all the branding culture, <laughs> culture fly, um, World's finest. Oh, wait. Hand wash only. Just kidding. You put this in the dishwasher, you will lose your Superman. Do not lose your Superman. So, yeah, just lovely cup, beer, frosty soda, whatever. Water, water. Remember water? Drink water. Uh, yeah, so this is a nice addition, too. Um, again, it is a quality cup. It's very sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to shatter apart. So that is, let's take a look before I let you guys go. Let's take a quick look at the at the information card. So yeah, included, of course, in this is the Superman Fortress of Solitude hoodie, the Superman mug, uh, Bottle City of Kendor 2D acrylic art, Superman art print, Fortress of Solitude replica key pin, Clark Kent slash Superman vinyl bust, and floating bookshelf with magnetic. Oh, that's how it's supposed to go. All right, so... He doesn't go at the end of your books there. Do you see there? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? And so the um, bookend goes like that, I think. We'll see. I'll let you know if I put it on my shelf. That is so cool. That is an awesome, awesome assortment of stuff from Culturefly. These boxes from them start at about uh, $49. So I think, I think all of this in here, hold on, I don't want to. All of this in here, oh my god, what is sticking to that? That is monstrous. Come on. Get in it. It worked. Oh, I broke it. The the styrofoam, not the glass. All right, so everything in there, I think, um, you know, considering most of their boxes started about $49, I think it is a great value, and I think you get an awesome assortment of merchandise. Um, something for your kitchen, something for your bookshelf, something for your jacket or backpack. You get a sweater, uh, a toy, and an art print. And then that little 2D, the little 2D um, art thing, which to me is probably, and I don't know if this is because I'm not a huge Superman fan, but it's kind of the weakest link in the box. Um, it's definitely a little tchotchke-ish. Like, I wouldn't put it on my desk. Uh, somebody else might put it somewhere else. Maybe, I don't know. Um, put it like on your stick, like put a sticker at the bottom of your dash and like just keep it right there. People put all sorts of creative things in their cars. No judgment from me. But that's it. That, so that is this this quarter's um, Superman box from Culturefly. I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I had fun uh, checking everything out there for you. And again, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard. That's toy-wizard.com. Stick with us all week for new toy news, toy content. We had a little bit of a hiatus there where a bunch of us went to a convention, but we are back. Everything is rocking. Everything is awesome. And we will catch you guys with new content and videos and editorials and opinions and snarkicles and toy reviews throughout the whole week. All right, you guys, be good, and I will see you later. Bye.